Hey everybody, welcome back to Doc G's Reloading. So uh, this is a continuation on the Atlas uh, Nemesis in 40 cal for USPSA limited division uh, major power factor competition gun. And this is their sight block model up here. It's got the sight block so this doesn't reciprocate. Uh, stays in place when you're shooting. Um, that supposedly gets you back on target faster. I, I don't think I'm a good enough shooter to really notice that yet, but uh, I put the first 200 rounds through it the other day at the indoor range uh, locally, and I just wanted to let everybody know how it performed. Um, as you can see on this, I put on the stepped plates. So this has a stepped plate here. You can kind of see that on that side. It's a, I'm sorry, it's a palm swell, they call it, on that side. And then on the other side, I put on the custom panel that's a step plate. So you can see here the panel has a raised section and then a lower section over here. So uh, I put that plate in and if I turn it, you can kind of see, turn it both ways here, you can kind of see uh, how that step plate works. So that's for the left side of the gun. And what it just allows you to do is, is it just fits in your hand better. My fingers roll on this side exposing this my left hand fits into here perfectly and it does give me a much better grip on the gun so um, this gun is safe i've already made sure it's empty uh, we're just gonna um, undo it here and then it's also got these great uh this great uh thumb safety on it there you can see how how big that thumb safety is on the dominant side it's, it's both sides uh but you can see on the on the uh, left side of the gun where my right thumb goes that is really nice and big makes for a nice open area for you to get your hand on the gun uh, your left hand i used to have it where i didn't have that and my thumb was always down here and sometimes i wouldn't get the grip on the gun consistently this way and uh, you get your thumb up here you get your grip it's just a lot more consistent i'm going to have a little clip of video too at the end here um, and i'll do a little narration i shot i've got a video of me shooting uh, two shots into two different targets just showing how little recoil there is with this gun and how quickly it goes back to zero. Um, I'm going to loop that a couple times and just kind of explain what I did. I, I You shouldn't shoot, and everybody who knows this, you shouldn't shoot boom, 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 boom on targets. It should be boom, 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 boom. You should be working on transitions. In this video that I just, at the end of this video, you're going to see me go boom, 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 boom. I was just trying to see how fast I could get the trigger off with the sights aligning and got my split times at 0 0.10 uh, seconds. Uh, I used to shoot a split of 0 0.2, so that this is, gun has almost cut that in half. And then I'll show you the accuracy of it. Um, I went out to 20 yards, um, which is 60 feet, and I zeroed the sights there, and I'll show you the shots there. Uh, I, did, I took four shots, two, and then adjusted, and then two after I adjusted the sight. Uh, and they're almost going through the same hole, and that's at uh, 20 yards. Um, and uh, also, uh, I'll show you the paper target, the USPSA paper target that I got both shots in the A zone each time. Uh, now I'm going to have to work on transitions, so that's something I'll work on later. But this gun functioned absolutely flawlessly. It was I have to work on my draws because I'm again I'm not used to this thumb safety so I have to get used to that I have to get used to my thumb being up here so first of all I have to get used to activating it so after they say make ready and I put the magazine and rack it I've got to remember to pop that thumb safety on before I holster it uh, and then as I pull out pull the gun out to go under target I've got to make sure that I'm you know getting that safety off and snapping it down as I take the grip of the gun so I just I need to work on that that's my issue because again I, I have not had a gun before with a uh, thumb safety up here so that aside uh, you know this gun is absolutely incredible there was not a out of 200 rounds there wasn't a single stovepipe there wasn't a single misfeed and I'm using uh, and I'll put this in the description I'm using blue bullets the 180 grain uh, 40 cal uh, bullet uh, it's the round nose flat point RNFP uh, with 4.7 grains of Vitivori N320 powder. And I haven't 
chronograph that yet, but it should chronograph just fine in the major power factor. What I did is I calculated out my power factor uh, minimum. So I have to have a minimum of about 920 feet per second in order to make 165 on the power factor. Um, I'm sure those were going at least 950. So if I'm at at least 950, I'm going to be fine in the power factor setting. Uh, but with the 4.7 grains of N320, that's the recommended load for most anyway. Uh, so this gun shot absolutely flawlessly. I cannot believe how fast it comes back to zero. Uh, this is the nicest, most incredible gun I've ever shot in my life as far as handguns go. Um, and again, I, you know, you get what you pay for, but uh, also, you know, Atlas guns are, you know, competitively priced with all the other models that you can get on the market. And, uh, you know, you, you get what you pay for, yes, but also Atlas, I think, just does a phenomenal job. I mean, they've got this new design of the uh, grip plates that you can customize to almost anything you want. Um, and uh and it's just the most fantastic gun i've ever shot i just i i can't even explain to you how beautifully this shot um, i also have to get used to a sub two pound trigger pull because you know the guns i was using like my sig did you know had a seven pound trigger pull so it's a big difference to get used to and plus there's there's no slack in this trigger really there's it's just you pull it you make any effort to pull it it goes off so uh i have to get used to that so that's me um things that I just have to be used to. Uh, but I still managed to have tremendous speed, tremendous accuracy, and shot much better. It was much more enjoyable. I had such a fantastic, wonderful time shooting this gun. I did some reloads with that gigantic magwell on there. Uh, never missed, went right in every time. Um, and again, just did the first 200 rounds. The front sight is beautiful. I like it. It's perfect size for me. You know, I'm a little bit older, so, uh, you know, I do have bifocal contacts, but usually the sights on my gun are blurred, front and back are blurred uh, a little bit. Um, and, uh, I, but yet I could still get very accurate with this gun. The red dot just seemed to go right in the center of the notch in the back. And, you know, you can kind of see it there. Um, you know, the red, the red dot just seemed to go in the center of the notch and, uh, and it was perfect every time and uh, I just really found it to be an incredible uh, sight that worked great so um, uh, again just a fantastic gun reloaded great uh, no complaints absolutely perfect uh, uh, yeah I, I this and this and here's the people have asked me about the uh, mag release there and I like it it's just a small button but yet it extends far enough that you can easily hit it. You know, uh, my problem was with my big hands is my left hand would sometimes hit, my left hand up here would sometimes hit the mag release and as I'm shooting the mag would drop out. So I, I don't want anything here except a small button. You know, some people like a bigger paddle here or whatever. I just like the small button because again, I've got gigantic fingers so I can get my thumb over here and pop that easily. Uh, mags drop out cleanly. These were the MBX mags that I bought to go with it. These were through, I bought these through Atlas as well. Um, but I, I can't tell you how much fun I had shooting this gun. It was just absolutely incredible. Not a single issue, not a single problem uh, in the first 200 rounds. Uh, at the end of the uh, video here, I'm going to just put up a couple of clips and kind of uh, just kind of narrate those a little bit just so you kind of see what I was doing at the range. Uh, again, it'll be quick. It's a couple, it's like another minute or two of video uh, for you. And I'll put that at the end. Um, so we'll transition to that uh, right now. Okay, so on that previous two videos, I showed it at full speed and then at half speed. And what I did there is I was just trying to see how fast I could get two shots off on each target. Those are targets at 10 yards, uh, three yards apart. And I put two rounds into each. And my split time between the two shots 
was 0 0.10 and usually that was 0 0.20 for me so I did cut that in half because there's really not much recoil to that gun uh, the, it, it returns to zero so quickly um, that I could get off two shots quickly and accurately on this next uh, target here this is the 20 yard target and I put uh, two rounds there on the descending line of the square you can see to the left of the center uh, that was before I made the adjustment to the rear sight and then the two in the center square there uh, are after I made the adjustment to the rear sight this is shooting from a rest uh, but still at 20 yards both bullets are practically going through the same hole so that's how accurate this gun and this load is for the gun uh, you can check out the load uh, that I put in the description thanks again for watching Doc G's reloading